happy Thursday. So really quickly for breakfast this morning, I made myself a chia seed pudding. I'll put the recipe down below in the description box for you guys, but it comes together really quickly. It's basically chia seeds and some of that uh, chocolate almond milk that I made in the vlog on Saturday. If you wanna see how I make it in my soy bella, just um, check out Saturday's vlog or search my channel, chocolate almond milk, and it'll pop up. You could use boxed chocolate almond milk. Anyways, yeah, it's that and a third of a frozen banana just blended together and then it thickens up really quickly. And then I just topped it with some cantaloupe and some mixed berries as well as, you, you almost fell there. You almost fell into the chia pudding. As well as some of those fermented cacao nibs that I get on iHerb. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna have this morning. But a little bit of a, I'm drinking this, um, I love to have these magnesium fizzy drinks. Normally I drink the brand Natural Calm. I like to have it in the morning. I drink it cold. You're technically supposed to drink it um, warm, but I like to drink it cold. Basically I drink it for the taste. Anyways, I normally get the Natural Calm brand, but I chose to get the Whole Foods 365 brand just to see if there was a difference. This was a little less expensive. It is not as good. It tastes pretty good. However, it does not dissolve as easily as Natural Calm does. So yeah, get what you pay for sometimes with, with going for the cheaper option. I will stick to Natural Calm. But I just, I think it, um, you can get uh, the cherry flavor and the lemon flavor and the orange flavor of Natural Calm on iHerb, but you can't get the watermelon. You can get the watermelon muscle calm of Natural Calm, which is kind of a little different. It has, I forget what the other, other mineral it has in it, but yeah, <laughs> anyways. Well, hey guys, what's up? It's the end of the day and I'm headed out to run errands. We are having unusually amazing weather right now. It is 86 degrees and importantly, the dew point is unusually low. It's amazing. Fingers crossed it stays for a couple of days. Um, so yeah, loving that. But yeah, I just uh, left to come out to run errands and I had reapplied a little of this uh, Sundance uh, SPF 50. I love that, that stuff. It's um, sunscreen from a viewer sent me from uh, Europe that you guys there say it's selling out that you can't get it. I highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it. Fragrance free, no alcohol. You can't get it here in the States though. Um, I, I can't even find it on like Amazon UK or, or any website like that. But you guys, I was reading an article last night about, um, it was like an editorial in one of the medical journals that I keep up with about, I had no, I, I really didn't realize this, that show on Netflix, 13 Reasons Why, Apparently, it uh, Netflix had to take down or elected to take down some of the uh, content. I don't know if it was particular scenes or what, but apparently, like around the time that 13 Reasons Why was put out, because you know Netflix, when they launch a series, you can binge watch all of the episodes or whatever. Apparently, there was a spike in uh, teen uh, suicide attempts and uh, teen suicide, like cor correlating very intensely with that show in that, that time frame. And, uh, you know, the uh, association of the psychiatry professional associations that kind of got together and um, made a statement that they thought perhaps it was dangerous uh, for adolescents to see that, that it was triggering suicidal intent or what have you. Uh, so Netflix did comply with their request and took some of it down, but they replied, their, their rebuttal to, to the commentary was that they surveyed their viewers, Netflix surveyed their viewers and asked like what they thought of it. And people were replying to Netflix saying, actually this helped me, you know, this made me feel like I wasn't alone. I actually felt for the first time like I was able to come forward and talk about my depression, etc. 
cetera, et cetera. But the Psychiatry Association points out that, you know, the flaw with that is that the Netflix is surveying the general public when they do that. And they may be missing a demographic of people who are particularly vulnerable. And uh, so I thought it was interesting that, A, I didn't know that happened. Uh, and B, that Netflix actually listened to a physician organization. But yeah, it's interesting how media really shapes our attitudes of perceptions of things. I don't know. I enjoy Netflix, but I have to say, I've noticed that a lot of their shows are kind of dark. These are festive. Of a six Arden three-piece chair and table set for 300 bucks. I was also noticing this over here. I swear, I had something like that in the 80s. Leather swivel chair. Boy, I just really have a selection here of light bulbs. These are a good deal. Light bulbs can be expensive, especially the LED ones. They're really expensive at uh, Home Depot. Has anyone purchased the Swash Luxury Bidet Seat? I kind of am intrigued by that. From a hygiene perspective, I think it's superior to toilet paper. Warm air dryer. It's more uh, environmentally friendly, I suppose, as well. Although I don't know how I feel about having a remote control with the toilet. Like, you just get a little too comfortable on there. <laughs> I don't know. Oh cool, it's got a deodorizer too. The bold look of Kohler. How is that bold? Looks like any other toilet bowl to me. <laughs> that is a bold statement, Kohler. Your toilet just looks like, just looks like a standard toilet. Look at this jazzy thing to organize all of your uh, beauty whatnots. I like that. Although I don't use 95% of the things that they would, they're storing in there. So I don't need it, but it's nice. Oh, it's got a charging station too. Oh, an electrical socket outlet. That's cool. Whew, 600 bucks, it's pricey. This is cool for beauty YouTubers. You know, they're always all doing the Alexa drawers. They should do the Costco version of the Alexa drawers for their makeup. So from Costco this week, I got more Three Berry Blend. I've been going through this about every two weeks between smoothies and sometimes I just like to have a bowl of these as a snack and sprinkle a little vanilla protein powder on top, like a uh, cobbler almost. It's pretty good. I got some Kirkland Premium Dishwasher Packs. These last me forever. They do a pretty good job in comparison to the Cascade Pods. You get 115 in this... Uh, 1.95 kg tub. I got a bag of Boscovich spinach. It's been delicious. And since I've totally been on this squash zucchini in my smoothie kick, I got some of the squash and zucchini combo from Costco because Kroger has been having this like puny um, zucchini lately. And this looked rather robust. My mom gets this periodically and she's always been happy with it. And then you guys know how much I love celery. Um, I've never had the organic celery though. This is new at Costco. They typically just have regular celery, but they switched it to organic. Um, I can't remember how much this was. It wasn't too expensive though. And then I got the big bag of Volupta Nutritional Yeast. I went through an entire bag of this already. I, I don't go a day without my nutritional yeast. I put it on everything. Uh, it's so good. And as a vegan, you can't, can't go wrong with nutritional yeast. I mean, it gets you one tablespoon, has three grams of protein, and it has, uh, how much B12? 3.6 milligrams, that is a lot. So yeah, you get a lot out of, out of just a tablespoon. And I end up you know, going through like a quarter of a cup of this stuff a day, practically. All right, and then from Kroger, I got the usual suspects, radish, and this, I decided I've been craving. I, I keep seeing it 
in YouTube videos and my mom, I think, eats parsley and I'm like, I need to buy parsley. I love it so much. So I got some. And I got a whole lot of ginger because I also have been hankering for ginger and two lemons. I don't know, this combo is definitely gonna work. Of course, I got two onions this week. I changed it up. One is yellow and one is white. Woohoo! <laughs> Living on the edge. Garlic. Got those parsnips. They are quite delish. They're, they've gotten really uh, chunky. I don't know if that's a seasonal thing or what. I got some chai out there. I didn't get as many this week because I got all that uh, zucchini and uh, yellow squash from Costco. I got two heads of cabbage and a cantaloupe. The cantaloupe from Costco was not that great, you guys. It was not as good as the Kroger one has been, so I went back to Kroger. Uh, I got another can of no salt added tomato sauce. Very convenient and delicious. And I also have been craving some water chestnuts. These water, water chestnuts are in the um, stir, fry, stir fry vegetable blend that I get at Costco and I've really been loving them. So I decided to get some canned ones as well. I got a box of the Sunmade Sour Raisin Snacks Watermelon Flavored. I love these. Um, I've had all the flavors and watermelon is my favorite. They're just golden raisins that somehow magically taste like watermelon. They don't have any added sugar, just flavor. They're very good. And then I love my True Lemon uh, Sticks and these are on sale. And I also um, snagged this. Uh, I've been wanting to try these uh, Larabar Protein Almond Butter. Oh, uh, I've seen these, but they're currently on Ibotta. If you're not familiar, Ibotta is that little rebate app I'm so fond of. Um, I'll list it down below for you guys, but basically you can just get cash back on certain purchases from the grocery store. I apologize there. They're chainsawing outside. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, some kind of construction. Anyways, yeah, um, I wanted to try this and it's on Ibotta and it also, I think it's on sale at Kroger. So getting cash back on stuff I wanna try out. And there's Cafe Mocha is judging. I'm telling you guys, this is a candle. I got this last week in my grocery haul. I just love the way this smells. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna put this stuff away. My tomato is still going strong, but sadly, eggplant just completely, completely bit the dust. I mean, there isn't even a remnant left behind. I don't exactly know what happened to him. Uh, but Ch -ch -ch Chia is uh, growing like gangbusters there. Yeah, just randomly scattering chia seeds on this uh, turned into turned into this unruly bramble. I might just scatter some chia seeds on this one as well. A pretty ladybug in flight. Well, the steam factor picked up a little bit, but it's still a low enough dew point that you guys aren't fogging up. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my grocery vlog today. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.